The report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, our army normally attacks people, but our army is actually under attack. By who? China? No, it's under attack by the Australian media who are accusing it of, of war crimes and various kinds of atrocities. Uh, and it's all bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to hear the talk about that on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stand by. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our army is under attack um, by um, left-wing media in this country. Uh, it's being accused of uh, war crimes and various kinds of atrocities. And, um, you know, it, it's again another beat-up um, for... Um, well, it's, it's actually a beat-up for China, let's be honest. So they've got their agents in this country and they're in our media. And obviously the globalists are interested in um, kind of, um, you know... The spoiling reputation of the Australian Army. So they've created this false story um, that, you know, Australian uh, soldiers have gotten up to no good. Now, I mean, obviously, in wartime, um, you know, people accidentally get shot sometimes. People maybe you shouldn't have shot do get shot. But this is war. I mean, this is what happens. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I mean, my... my there is no ethics and morality in war. I mean, you know, and also to the enemy are not held to these same... I mean, is the Taliban being pulled up before Afghani media and chastised? Oh, you've killed somebody you weren't supposed to kill there, Taliban. If they did that, the Taliban would, would never do anything but attend to the accusations, I imagine. Um, so, you know, occasionally our armies and stuff, they accidentally kill the wrong person, they've overreacted. I don't know, sometimes there's also a mental stress of our soldiers. Often it's SAS officers who've been forced to go through many tours in Afghanistan. And also, let's talk about Afghanistan in general, ladies and gentlemen. This is a war we never should have been in. You know, this is a globalist war like Iraq, like Libya, like Syria, that we never should have had any part of. And also, too, what's the real reason we're in Afghanistan? Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's one reason only heroin, okay? They are controlling the poppy and the opium production uh, for the globalist cabal, the black market, and that, which is a multi-billion dollar industry. That's what the American army is doing there. That's what all the various armies are tag along with the American army. It's, it's basically a kind of drug dealing through, the, uh, through our armed forces. So this is the real truth about what's going on for, uh, in Afghanistan. And if you want to watch an amazing film about Afghanistan, watch a film. It's online and it's free to watch online. It's about a two-hour movie, but it's a masterpiece by a filmmaker called Adam Curtis from the United Kingdom. It's called Bitter Lake. It's absolutely superb. I will put a link to Bitter Lake in this podcast. So check that out, and that'll tell you the truth about Afghanistan, which is just a giant clusterfuck, ladies and gentlemen. The whole war is a clusterfuck. Yes, Australia shouldn't have been there. But this whole, you know, like, thing, it started with uh, a Four Corners report uh, and a kind of, um, you know, 60 Minutes report. It's, it's all nonsense. This is a left-wing beat-up against our army, and we should reject it. We don't want our army's reputation to be kind of being um, tarnished at the moment, particularly when we have major confrontations coming up with China. So that's all I wanted to say on the report for Tiger Mountain today. This is bullshit about the Australian Army. Fuck the Brereton report. I mean, you know, I mean, 40 uh, Afghans. I mean, who cares, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, this is this is just you know, what happens in the fog of war. So forget about it. Um, love the Australian Army. They're our last hope that we can save this country. So um, support the Australian Army at all costs. And that's the report from Tiger Mountain.